Hello to all my YouTube maniacs, and today I'm going to be doing a review with Jerry. Hi, everybody. And uh, we're going to be reviewing um, something a little weird that he found. Uh, it's called Epic Hunt and Harvest Mix Coconut Carnivore. It's actually a mixture of shredded coconut, shredded dried coconut, and beef jerky. All right, uh, so we're going to let you know if we think that uh, you should pick this up and use this if you like going out hiking on trails or anything like that. So I guess without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. Assuming this doesn't give me any difficulty opening it. Which it is, so... Hey, I got a knife. Oh, I've got scissors. Oh, well... Okay. It's much easier to just do it this way. Okay. So, we will apparently not get into the beef jerky because the beef jerky is being stubborn. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can get to the beef jerky. That might be donkey jerky. Alright, we're going to uh, remove... This first, you know, that's everyone's favorite delicious taste. Smell? It doesn't smell bad. Uh, coconut smells like coconut. Oh, it does too, yeah. Okay, um, well, uh, we're gonna try the coconut first, and then we'll try the jerky. So get yourself. And I'll get myself a little. A little, little pinch. A little pinch will do. Yeah. It smells like coconut. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, it's definitely coconut. Tastes like coconut sawdust. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. May, um, not, may not be as fresh. <laughs> that's not treated or anything. That no. is just straight up dried coconut. That's what, exactly what it is, yeah. Um, okay, we'll move on and uh, try the beef jerky. Okay, yeah, we'll try it. Try it. I'm still chewing the coconut. Me too. Okay. But, uh, I can swallow this now. Yeah, go ahead and try the beef jerky. Well, the beef jerky is better than the coconut. Mm. Good beef jerky. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. Um, For those of you without teeth, this jerky would be good for you. Oh, yeah, it'd be great. Um... I'm going to say I don't like this. Mm, yeah, I'm going to say it's not that great either. If you'd like some more. I have another piece of the free. jerky just to make sure. but Yeah, even the jerky I'm not very fond of. Like, oh. it's, uh, okay. Got too many preservatives or something in it. Yeah, it's very greasy, too. Yeah, it's still very greasy. Yeah. That's a problem. Um, I can't begin to imagine how much this stuff costed originally. He got it for two ninety nine today. Uh, oh, I got it for dollar ninety nine. Oh, dollar ninety nine. Okay. Um, I would not pay a dollar for this. I wouldn't either. Not again. This was not good. So if you see Epic Beef Jerky, or want to lodge a complaint, if you uh, happen to come across this, uh, I'd say contact them because this is not good. That's terrible, actually. I would say it's not good at all. It says it's made with 100% grass-fed beef. Well, if we count the coconut, they certainly have the grass down because that's how it tastes. It, yeah, it does. It tastes like sawdust. Okay. Well, okay. Um, I'm going to give that a big thumbs down and say stay away from that. Yeah, um, I definitely would. I wouldn't buy that again. If you want jerky, just go with, uh, you know, Slim Jims or uh, uh, what, what, what's the one? Jack Link's. Put? There you go, Jack Link's. And there's a lot of other small jerky companies out there, but I'd stay away from that. All right, um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a nice day, everybody.